I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I am sharing a hat video, comparison between Gigi Pip and Lack of Color. So if you've been around for a while, you know that I love hair accessories. I almost always have a headband or a bow or some kind of barrette in my hair, but in the fall, I really love hats. And I feel like the rancher styles especially are super popular right now and they're gonna be everywhere in the fall. They've been around for a while now, but I feel like we're just we're going to see more of them. So I just wanted to share my thoughts about these two brands because I feel like they both make really high quality hats and I feel like this can help those of you that are hat shopping. So I do want to specify that I did not get these hats from the brands directly. I got the Gigi Pip one from a boutique. I believe the boutique is called Ruli. And I got the Lack of Color hats secondhand <laughs> off of Poshmark actually. So I have no thoughts on customer service for each one. So this will be specifically about the quality, the price, uh, sizing, and everything else. Okay, so I am going to start with Gigi Pip. And this is their Monroe Rancher hat in the color ivory. First things first, I really, really love this hat. I think the color is beautiful. It goes with everything. It's a nice kind of like gray cream color. It is really, really pretty. And this brim, um, the lack of color ones are very straight and this one has a slight curve. So I just want to note that the ribbon has a cute little bow and it has the Gigi Pip little logo right there. I got the size extra small, which is 55. And let me tell you, I have a really small head and most hats just kind of like go all over the place. And so I usually fit them myself because they are just always way too big for me and I never want them to fall off. So I got this from, I want to say like Home Depot. I forgot what it's called, but it's just like some little, I don't know, whatever, but I have a blog post about it. So I will link that for you if you want to see how to resize your hat for super, super cheap. So I did not use this for this because the hat actually fit perfect. Okay, so this is what it looks like on, and it's really, really pretty, really cute. And I think it's really flattering and I really like the size of the brim. I don't think it's too wide or um, too little and I really think that this color just it goes with everything. I do want to note though that some people might be um, a little adverse to this color just because it is lighter. So I don't think this is really a problem for me but I know that some people are like you know against light colored anything. <laughs> So if that's you, just, just letting you know. Also, the inside has a um, kind of like a silky lining, which I really like. I think it gives it a very luxurious touch. And of course it has the branding in there and then the sweatband right here. So it's very comfortable to wear. And I really, really like this hat. It is pricey. Um, I think that Lack of Color and GG Pip are around the same price point. I think Lack of Color might be just a little bit more, but it is still an investment. I can tell that this is really good quality. It's very sturdy. This does not like crunch up or anything. So um, that's really good. This part can move a little bit, but it is pretty structured. And I think overall it's a really good quality hat and the price point, while it is higher, I do think that it is justified. And I think that this one might come in multiple colors, I'm not really sure. If the price is something that you're just, you know, you don't really want to spend that much on a hat, I recommend looking secondhand on Poshmark or things like that. Like 
what I did with the lack of color hats or even waiting until Black Friday because a lot of brands do have great deals for Black Friday. Okay, so that is it for Gigi Pitt. Now, lack of color, I have two lack of color hats and they're both pink. <laughs> so these are both the Rancher hats. This is the Stardust Rancher and then this one is the Rose Rancher and they are both so beautiful. So main differences are that this part is flat whereas the other one was slightly curved. And this one also has a really cute little ribbon um, in a slightly darker shade of pink. This is very much like a pastel pink, so very attention grabbing <laughs> and very cute. This part, it does not move at all, so also very structured. And this, you can bend it, but it's very structured as well and the material is amazing i don't remember if they use wool or felt but it is really soft and you can just tell that it's a high quality hat one thing <laughs> the sizing is too big for me so their size small is also 55 but it is like a little bit too big for me so i will be putting in my little liner here so that it has a more snug fit and okay so this is what it looks like on I think it is so cute you've probably seen this hat on Instagram on like everyone because everyone has this color it's really really pretty and I really 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 like it and I love that it has the contrasting ribbon right here along the brim I think that this brim is actually a little bit wider than the Gigi Pip one, but it's still really nice and I don't think it's too big or, you know, anything like that. Another thing to note, and please excuse my hat hair, <laughs> um, another thing to note is that the inside does not have any lining. So that is one thing that I really did like about the Gigi Pip hat is that it had that nice silky lining and this one is just like, you know, the hat. And so I feel like I would have liked it better if it had the lining. It's just one of those like really nice special touches and yeah, but the band is nice and I think overall the quality is really nice. This is the rose color and it's darker than this one. I think this is a really, really good choice for fall um, because it's pink, but it's not like in your face kind of pink like the other one. This one is more of like a mauve rose color and it's very, very beautiful. Um, same thing with this one. So it's not lined on the inside. It is like slightly too big for my head. I didn't realize I had such a small head until this. <laughs> But I do think that they might have extra small now. I'm not really sure. I'd have to look at the website. But when I got these, the small was the smallest size. And so I do know that they sell like hat stuff to make it fit. But this is a cheaper option. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I think this is really, really pretty. I think it's really flattering. It's super feminine. Um, because I think a lot of times people can think that hats can look more masculine, which they do, but I think that the color looks so feminine, so girly, and it's just like kind of a nice mix of both worlds. And yeah, I really, really, really like this one. Overall thoughts on both. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, so you can see that the brim on this one is smaller than on this one. And I think the crown is actually larger on the lack of color hat. So overall thoughts, price point is about the same. Lack of color is a little bit more expensive. I think that lack of color has more color options, although I have seen some really pretty ones on the GG Pip website lately, so that might be worth looking into. There's a really pretty green one and a pink one available. Quality, I would say they're actually comparable. I do feel like the Lack of Color hat has a bit more structure to it, but I do think that they both feel very high quality. I think they both look amazing on. 
I do like the interior of the Gigi Pip hat more than the Lack of Color hat just because I prefer the lining but some people may not really care about that or may not prefer it. I also much prefer the sizing of the Gigi Pip hat since it does fit me without any alteration needed. But overall I really like both. I don't think there's one more than the other that I like. I just think that they both have different things to offer and so it really just depends on what you're looking for. And I'm sorry, <laughs> my bangs are kind of bugging me, but it really just depends on what you're looking for. So if you have a really small head, I think that you would have more options with a Gigi Pip if you did not want to add any additional you know anything to the lack of color hat both are very similar but they're also very different and I think that each one has a lot to offer so it really just depends on what you are looking for specifically um, I think in terms of style fit price point even or even like materials I think that they differ ever so slightly I do think that lack of color has more options overall like my scalloped sun hat that a lot of you really really like the one that I wore in a ton of my cottagecore photos and uh, beach photos from Carmel uh, a lot of you really like that that's from lack of color and I think that they have a lot of classic styles that are amazing quality that I feel will last for a really, really long time. And then GG Pip, I think that it is comparable. I don't think there's as many options, but I do like that they cater to small heads like mine <laughs> without having, you know, to add anything additional. And I do think that they are adding more colors and more styles. So, that's good but yeah I really like both overall and I hope that this helped a little bit anyway if you enjoyed this video make sure to like share and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I share um, all things pretty and pink and my blog of course for more girly outfits lizzieandlace.com and at lizzieandlace and I will see you guys later bye